I welcome you to my daily Catholic reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 20th day in the month of May, year 2024. Beloved in Christ, my name is Joseph Iyaji and I'm here to share the word of God with you. Today we celebrate the memoria of Mary, mother of the church, a day to honor the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and her role in the history of salvation. On this special day, we reflect on the importance of Mary's obedience and her fiat which brought forth the savior of the world in our first reading of today from genesis chapter 3 verse 9 to 15 and verse 20 we see the consequences of adam and eve's disobedience in the garden of eden they had chosen to listen to the serpent's lies and rebel against God's command, leading to a broken relationship with their Creator. This passage serves as a reminder of the destructive power of sin and the importance of obedience to God's will. In our Gospel reading of today, from John chapter 19, verse 25 to 34, we witness the ultimate art of obedience and redemption jesus sacrifice on the cross as he hung there he entrusted his mother mary to the care of john demonstrating his love and concern for those he leaves behind this passage highlights the depth of god's love for humanity and the power of selfless sacrifice analyzing this passage we see a stark contrast between the consequences of disobedience and the power of redemption adam and eve's choice led to separation from god while jesus obedience led to reconciliation and eternal life mary's obedience too played a crucial role in the redemption story as she said yes to bearing the son of god today we face similar choices Will we choose to listen to the serpent's lies and pursue our own desires or will we obey God's will and follow Jesus' example? The consequences of our choices are eternal. May we learn from Adam and Eve's mistake and instead choose to follow Jesus' path of obedience and love. May we embrace the power of redemption and live a life that honors God, just as Mary, mother of the church, did. May we pray for her intercession and guidance as we strive to be faithful disciples of Christ. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to choose obedience and love, and may we always remember the power of redemption through Jesus Christ and the intercession of Mary, mother of the church, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening intently to me. My name is Joseph Iyaji. Please endeavor to share this post with others and subscribe to my channel, Akai Update. As you do this, almighty God in infinite goodness and mercy, we bless you richly this day and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you and God bless.